I've been using this portable power station for the past three weeks or so. Here is what I really like about it. Now, the thing that sets this apart and that I think is actually really cool is, waha, it's got built-in solar panels. Now the solar panel doesn't do a whole lot in my testing. I was getting just over 20 watts of input with the solar panel, but the fact that they have a built-in solar panel, I think is really cool. The reason I like that so much is it just makes it really nice for charging devices like phones or tablets or even some low powered laptop computers. It's really nice and convenient that you can just flip up the solar panel and you're good to go. You don't need to hook up any other things. You don't need to worry about cables or anything like that. It's really nice for when you're in the car or RV and you're just stopping by somewhere for a little while, maybe an hour or two, and you just want to pull this out, put the solar panel up. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do this whole big setup. That's really cool. The other thing I really like about this is you will notice that the display is still on. Now this is on DC and USB power, but I've had this on for over a week. Now with a lot of portable power stations, when you leave the power on, it totally drains the power. With this, that is not the case. I really appreciate that about this because I like keeping USB power on. I put portable power stations in my shed a lot and I'll show you later on in this video, but I have a USB thermometer and I want to keep it on all the time because it connects to Wi-Fi so I can get a temperature reading in my shed. Now, if the portable power station is automatically turning off, obviously that doesn't work for me. So the fact that I can just keep this on and it doesn't use a lot of power while it's on that's really nice. Let me go ahead and show you kind of what you get out of the box and how I've been using this. So here is the portable power station. It does come with this pouch of cables. Kind of a weird pouch. It doesn't open up all the way. So you got the main charger, then you have the cable for plugging it into your car's cigarette lighter, and then you've got the barrel plug to barrel plug, but you also have a bunch of adapters that come with it. So you can fit this to just about any size. Then here is the portable power station. You can see over here, it's got the display. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It shows what the battery level is. So it just kind of has a simple 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 power level. You got a single AC outlet. You've got these uh, covers to prevent water from getting in. Then you've got your car plug as well. You got your input and output. You got USB-C and then a couple USB ports. And of course what makes this unique is it does have a built-in solar panel. So that is cool. On the back you've got this stand so you can leave it out like that. Have it charge in the sun. Really cool idea. Really nice and portable. I like the handle. It's kind of like a really heavy suitcase. All right, the sun is basically directly overhead. So I've got this out here. We'll open it up and we'll see if I can charge it today. It's kind of hard to see, but it says there's 22 watts of power going in. Pretty slow charging. Looks like we're at about 60% right now. So those wires coming out of the ceiling are, are plugged into a solar panel and you can see it's a 100 watt solar panel. It says it's charging at 63 watts of input. I've got it plugged into AC here. I also have USB plugged in, but nothing is on. So to turn on AC, you press the AC button. You can see that turns on. So we've got nothing output. Let me turn on some lights. So I got some lights on now and you can see with the lights on that it's using about 50 watts of power or 110 volts. And we've got the input here at 63 watts. So it should still be charging even though it is using power. So I see what the input is, I see what the output is, and then it just kind of has a, a bar here. I wish this had like a percentage or time, but it's still nice that it says what the input and output is. Now I'm going to turn on DC. And as soon as I do that, it turns on the USB as well. And as you can see, it is 95 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's very warm in here. We'll see how this does in the heat. So I left this on all night, and it was only plugged into DC when it was on. The AC was not on. So as you saw in those clips, I've been using this in my shed that gets really, really hot. I haven't had any issues with this at all. It's really nice to be able to plug in the USB, just keep it on all the time, and it works. So this is a 600 watt power station, which means it's not really going to run appliances or power tools or anything like that. But for running lights, backup, computers, tablets, devices, things like that, this works really, really well. This was sent to me so I could do this video review. I've used a lot of portable power stations. 
I like the uniqueness of having the built-in solar panel on this. I also like the shape. This is a little bit easier to store than the other portable power stations that are just kind of a big block. This you can store a little bit nicer in a van or RV. You can put this under the seats. So that's really a nice thing about this. Overall, I do think it's a really nice power station. I do wish they would have found a way to make a better solar panel built in. Maybe it could have unfolded a few times so you can get just a little bit more power as it charges pretty slow with that. But overall, it's really nice. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.